Welcome back to another video. Today's review is focused on 2022 movie entitled Hunt. And the official synopsis of this movie is, after President Park's murder in 1980, North Korea sends an opportunity for future invasion and sends one of its spies, Park Pyong Ho and Kim Jong Do, two senior security officers, are tasked with the hunting down the infiltrator. And before I give out my review, please like the video, subscribe or comment, or just watch the video and keep going on with your day. I felt like Hunt was a pretty interesting movie as this movie was inspired by real events that did happen back in the 1980s in Korea and just pretty insane from beginning to end with all that happens. The first things that I enjoyed about this movie was the action, the violence, and just the all out craziness that this movie offers. This movie, the first five minutes of this movie just starts off with a bang as I may say. People getting killed, blown up, t-shirts, gun battles, gunfights. Like this is what happens within the first five minutes. And throughout this movie, all of that happens continue once, once more with a lot of gun battles in here from officers, agencies trying to take out the bad guys, people getting tortured in pretty gruesome ways, drownings, um, stabbings, like people get tortured a lot in this movie. Definitely some shocking portrayals, some moments you don't see coming. But I felt like the action in here was extremely tense. It was extremely gruesome. And I did enjoy the action for what it offered. The movie stars Lee Jung Jae as Park Pyong Ho from Squid Games and Jung Woo Song as Kim Jung Do as the main characters of this movie. As both of these characters work for different agencies and both of them are basically tasked with trying to find out this North Korean mole and see who it is and bring this person down to the fullest extent. And both of these characters go to extreme measures to figure out who this mole is and just does a lot of things that would definitely get you killed in real life though too. From kidnapping people, killing people, um, torturing people, like both of these characters do the absolute most to find out who this mole is and I think both of them gives out a good performance with their characters. Lee Jung Jae, his directorial debut, I think he did a good job with directing this movie and editing as well. Um, the other characters in here were all pretty good as sometimes it was hard to tell who was the good guys and who was the bad guys because each of them had their reasons as in why they're doing what they're doing. And I get it. Like, I get it. But yeah, performances though were all pretty good. Um, and like I previously mentioned, I felt that the cinematography was pretty good as I didn't have an issue with how it looked. I felt like it looked just like a regular movie would with the craziness. Editing was pretty fine as well. I didn't have any issues with that. Now, when it comes to some things that I did not like about this movie, I felt like the story was definitely convoluted at times. Like the story definitely does start off promising, but this is the kind of movie where you have to pay attention because if you try to just like ease around and not pay attention, then you're definitely going to miss something important to the story. As with the shocking portrayals, the shocking moments in here, like some parts of this movie, definitely felt convoluted at times and I would definitely have to watch this movie again to get everything that I missed the first time when it comes with this story like the story isn't bad the story does have some good moments but I just wish that it wasn't so didn't have that feeling of just like convoluted and everything else um, another thing that I, I did not like about this movie was that I think this movie definitely could have been trimmed down by just a little bit as this movie is over 130 minutes long. I think it could have been cut down to 120, honestly, but it's not that big of an issue in my opinion. But I would say despite that, though, I felt like Hunt was a pretty interesting movie. 
inspired by real life events that happened back in the 1980s you just see the gruesomeness of trying to figure out who this mole is um people doing the absolute extremes with that good performances by all of the actors crazy violence and action from beginning to end and yeah and i would say my rating for hunt would probably be three and a half stars out of five so thank you for watching and until next time.